Hi everyone, um, I just want to have a dabble at making some homemade um, last minute Christmas cards. I'm going to use my brushos. Um, I haven't played with them for, for a while. And um, a lady called Diane Ayres here on YouTube, lovely, lovely lady, she does some fantastic um, videos. Um, did uh, some cards a while ago and she also recommended somebody else here on YouTube and I can't remember the name of the lady um, but she was doing some lovely um, cards using glossy cardstock and brushos and I thought oh gosh I must have a have a go so um, so there we go um, but I've sprayed some of my turquoise brushos down on a piece of parchment paper I've sprayed it with water and I'm just going to dip the turquoise into um, the cardstock um, and then I'm just going to put it to one side and let that dry um, I'm going to do the same again I'm going to do two of, of each I probably won't get anywhere near as much um, of the brush on this one here but that's absolutely fine I'm just going to use up what I have and I think it's quite nice actually that they um, both do give they're both quite different in terms of the, the background so I'm just going to um, grab a baby wipe now and just mop this up and then I'm going to do the same um, with, a, with a different colour. Um, I want to do this with purple, leaf green and some scarlet as well. So let me just mop that up a minute. Be careful with your brushos because you will end up in a bit of a mess if you're, if you're not careful. So I'm going to do the same with some purple. You don't need much of the, the brushos. Right, so I'm going to do the same um, with the with the purple. But the colours in the brushos are just absolutely gorgeous. I, I just love them. In fact, I should get them out more, more often. I really should. Um, I'm going to have to um, reach out to my floor as well. I'm not going to have enough space otherwise. And then I'm doing the same with this, um, with another piece. And I'm going to do this with all of my colours. As I say, I've got a leaf green and a scarlet. And then I'll come back um, once they're all, all done and show you what they, what they look like. Right, so here we are. Here's my lovely backgrounds. They're all dried now. And um, I've dug out some um, stamp pads to match the colours of the background. So I've got Vibrant Violet, Cactus Green, Teal Blue and Rocket Red. And I've also dug out some Christmas um, stamps. I've got this one here. This is a Do Crafts um, stamp pad. Um, that I bought at the Motorcycle Museum last year. Um, I've also got my Christmas tree um, stamp. Um, you've seen me use this one before. In fact, I've used this on its side um, for my um, Flamingo um, Art Journal prompt page, but that came with a, with a load of individual snowflake stamps, which again, you've seen me use before. Um, and then I had um, from the scrap store um, last week, the snowflake stamp that you saw me use in my wrapping paper. And um, people have asked me where this came from. I think this is a Ducraft stamp, but I got it in a whole set. Let me just show you. Um, that's the snowflake stamp and it came with the little mini Christmas tree that you saw me use for um, my wrapping paper. This little tag stamp here, Christmas wishes, some snowflakes, let it snow with love. And that came um, with this one here, um, let it snow, this big banner, um, in a set for £2 from the scrap store. I also got this um, stamp here, this wooden stamp. And so I did quite well when I was there. but. This is the one um, I want to use for the for the time being. So let me just have a clear away and then I'll come back. All right, I'm going to start off with the purple backgrounds and I'm going to um, load up my um, stamp with the Vibrant Violet stamp pad. Um, sorry about the banging, but I just need to make sure that I've got plenty of ink um, on this here. And then what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to lay the... Um, the card down on the stamp like so and then I'm going to bring in the parchment paper that I used before and I'm just going to press down just to make sure that I get a really firm image there we go so that's what it looks like and I'm going to give that a quick blast with the, the heat gun um, and then I'll come back 
that's how the um, card looks now. And now I've grabbed some of my archival um, ink in black, jet black, and I'm just inking up my Christmas tree um, stamp. Just want to make sure that I've got that um, inked nicely all over um, so that I get a nice firm image. I'm just going to wipe away any of this excess here because I don't want that getting um, in the way. There we go. And then I'm just going to stamp. I'm going to stand up and do this to make sure that I get this in the right place. So that's what my card is, is looking like. And you can see that um, it hasn't quite taken um, in the middle here. So I'm just going to go over um, with my pit pen here and just fill in um, the, the gaps. There we go. And then I just want to add a pot because at the moment my Christmas tree is suspended in thin air. Right, so this time I want to use the um, snowflake stamp. So I'm going to ink that up again um, in the purple and it's not quite wide enough to do the whole of the card. So I'm just going to randomly pop it on like this. In fact, I'll have some smaller ones actually. And there we go. So that's the background for that one there. And here we go. Here's my finished cards. I've mounted them all on um, coloured cardstock and I use this pack from Lidl. Um, I bought this a couple of years ago, although I did see it in there the other day. I think it was $1.99 and it's um, a mixed pack of coloured cardstock. It's really nice and, and thick and a really good size as well. Um, so I've inked around the edges of the images first, the glossy cardstock, in black archival ink before um, I've mounted it on my cardstock. I've used um, the red score tape to attach it um, and obviously cut the cardstock to size. So let me just whisk through these. Um, some of them I've had to trim slightly. This one here, um, the snowman just got lost on the, the larger size card. And so I cut it into a smaller piece and I think that's really dinky and really cute. That's one of my favorites actually. Um, and this one here, I um, didn't stamp symmetrically. So again, I've trimmed that one down. All the others are the same size. Some of them I've left plain. Some of them, you know, I've, I've stamped images on and where they're not quite symmetrical, um, I've just um, used a, a Merry Christmas in my own handwriting. Um, but but here they, here they are. Um, I've also made sure that um, I've used the same colour cardstock um, as the background as well. I just think that looks neater and it's not, you know, not as busy as if you sort of mount it on a different colour. So purple background, purple cardstock, etc. Um, and then for the envelopes, I was really, really lucky. I've had this um, set of envelopes in my stash for um, three or four years, probably. They came free in one of the card making um, magazines and they just happen to be the perfect size and perfect colour um, for for the cards. So there we go. Um, and also um, I've got this brown envelope here for this little mini snowman. So there we go. That's my cards for this year. So give me a thumbs up if you like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.